hello and welcome to the first episode of Lemon Waters uh, Alien Watch. And for the first episode, we are going to go over a uh, recent article that I found uh, very interesting. So, uh, this is by uh, Alien News, which is a obviously an alien news site. <laughs> um, but I say some of the things that they they point out in this a uh, in this article are rather uh, interesting. So, first of all, the article opens up with, "Is there really life on Mars?" In my, I'm um, here. I'll give. I'll just give my opinion. Um, I do not believe. There is life on Mars currently, but I do believe that there was previously life on Mars, which this uh, article supports that idea. And it states that uh, we all know NASA is an astounding no. Now, of course, NASA is going to deny the existence of life on Mars, but the images that they publish are contradictory to that. Now, this, th this picture is interesting because uh, this right here, that right there is a, uh, I don't know what it is. It appears to be, that that's one of the ev evidence that they display, is that, that that's just a very interesting um, little uh, circle type thing. Circle. Square. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, but uh, we're going to continue anyways. This, this is a very interesting shape. It's, I don't know what it's meant to be, but it could be some sort of uh, previous architecture. But possibly a pillar for something, or it's obviously like a piece of something, like right here is broken off, obviously. But this whole, the whole, uh, thing is kind of strange. Now, uh, since this is interesting, let's go into the new. Look at this. I I'm not, I'm not going to draw on it because it's already, it already has pointers to it. But look what this, this is hard to deny. I must tell you, um. It's, it's obviously something. I mean, as you can see, you have the mouth, and then you have eyes. It's, it's, it's obviously some sort of beast or creature, uh, a carving of it. It's not, it's not a, uh, it's not a fossil. That's not how fossils work, or mummified corpse. It could be mummified, but most likely not. So, it's, it's an ancient carving of something made by intelligent life. Intelligent life, as in possible like tribal factions, or m more, uh, more akin to what us humans are right now. But in my opinion, a tribal sort of civilization is more plausible because us humans have made it a long way. But as you can see, it is, it's just, it's a carving of something. And the, the only other exclamation is, uh, pareidolia, but it looks a little too similar to something just to be pareidolia, in my opinion. Um, now if you go down, I don't, I don't exactly believe in this, but, uh, right here they try to show you that this is a fossilized uh, backbone, or like this is possibly uh, the ribs of something. And I personally don't exactly believe that because I don't know, it's just implausible. Um, fossilization is something that happens within like soil and whatnot, it's like a very exact process and i feel like 
something like that could not happen on Mars because of the soil and stuff is 100% different. Everything is different on Mars from Earth. So I believe fossilization of bones or corpses or anything is just rather non-plausible, you know? Uh, and then this right here, this, this is kind of confusing. Now, they're comparing it to uh, some sort of uh, animal uh, carving. But how, you know, how, if, I, I understand, like, this, this could be, it could be the same thing as the, the first picture. It's just another carving from a semi-intelligent uh, Earth. I mean, uh, civilization, but it's, it's very, it's, it just kind of looks like a rock and it doesn't really resemble, <gasps> resemble anything. I don't believe that this sculpture, as they're calling it, is anything. It doesn't really look like anything, to be completely honest. Um, it would be more fun if it were something. I mean, this is what they say is the Earth counterpart. But if if it is similar to a sculpture, an Earth sculpture, why? That's kind of implausible. Did something come from Earth and then go to Mars? I don't think so. But you, you could say the same thing about the first sculpture, but the full sculpture makes more sense as it's a recreation of an animal, which I would say most societies and civilizations have done. But this doesn't make much sense. Why would a Earth-like sculpture be on Mars? Uh, is it plausible but that this um, civilization took something from Earth, whether that be knowledge or the physical object itself, and then brought it to Mars? Is that plausible? Not really, because uh, as as I showed before, th this is this appears to be uh something something akin to a uh, tribal civilization. So why would tribal civilization have, let's say, UFOs or uh, interplanetary travel? One, they wouldn't. Uh, and Mars, because remember, scientists say that Mars was like Earth a while ago, but we're talking a long time ago, probably a, a long, a lot, uh, a long time ago, as in before Earth was inhabited. So, it doesn't make sense for a uh, intelligent life form to exist uh, while Earth was developing. That doesn't make sense. So, in my opinion, for, to come to a conclusion, um, I believe that this is suspicious. This is obvious what this is. This is most likely nothing, and this is most likely nothing as well. And to wrap it all up, I believe that these were made when Mars was similar to Earth, and these are leftover remnants of that society. Now, are they resembling um, Earth animals? Possibly, but you could say that they that the these are just animals that lived on Mars during the time. Did these come from Earth? Most likely not. That doesn't make much sense. Are there is there life on Mars currently? No. So it's just left over from an old civilization, in my opinion. And that is my official verdict. Um, I will link the I will link the uh, the article in the description. 
of this video. Uh, it also has a video. I'm not going to show the video, but it's basically a whole recap of, you know, what I just discussed. So uh, that's my opinion on this article. Hopefully it gives some sort of insight or, you know, some sort of uh, knowledge. Just remember, this is my opinion. And um, that's about it.